welcome back. And of course, it's time for another edition of Grace Flavor with a Beat. And uh, we're getting ready to cook up a storm. We're yeah, joined, I'm ready of course, to beat by. Up a storm. Dwayne. Good morning, guys. Buenas morning. All right, we got Mel from Grace with us. And the uh, invited guest for today, Barris Ford Cod from the Ministry of Trade, the Directorate General's Office. And that's because we are going to explore Caribbean cuisine. Yes. Tell us, we're going to Barbados. Hmm. And what's the dish? Tell us a bit about Barbados. Well, um, Barbados is uh, a small Caribbean island. Mm -hmm. It's the easternmost island in the Caribbean. That's mm -hmm. right. right um, population is somewhere around, I guess, around 300,000. But okay. the island is smaller than Ambergris Key. That's right. Mm -hmm. So it's a small place. Um, there's a lot of people, a lot of movement. Mm -hmm. And they're known for a couple of dishes, one of which is the national dish that we'll be doing today. That's flying fish and cuckoo. Yes. Cuckoo. 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 Mm. Now, how does that, where does that fit in with Barbados? On well, it's, it's the national dish, but it used, to, it used to be cooked every Friday and Saturday pretty much. Mm -hmm. But since they've, they've gotten into a shortage with the flying fish, I guess they flew away mm -hmm. to Trinidad. They flew away, yes. <laughs> right? um, it's done more around celebration times you now, like independence. Um, if, they, ah, if you have guests over, and... with, you know, right. any, any type of big celebration, mm -hmm. that might be something on the list. You know. And it's a corn base. It's a corn base. Um, maize, meal. corn, meal, corn meal base. Um, there's another version, as you can see here. This is um, maize, corn, mm -hmm. um, very close to polenta, which is a, it's a pa uh, Italian pasta. Very small, very thin. It expands and it's very, very good. I've worked with it several times already. Mm -hmm. um, corn meal. Yeah. Corn meal, that's what it is. Corn meal. Um, you can corn meal cakes. You add to this, you make it savory, you make it sweet. Um, I did some the other day with uh, like, I put it on a Mexican flair, uh, salsa and stuff anyway. But um, try go, try use it a lot, it's very healthy. It's very healthy, it, it observes a lot of flavor. Um, it gets, mo when it get wet, it's moist and it, it um, sucks every flavor you could think about, all right? And it's very heavy. Don't don't say I want, I want a lot. Just try it a little bit at a time because it will sit down on you. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. All right. We know about that sit down part so after you don't. Those mm -hmm. are the rules. It can of, actually oh. be used as a batter too. Yes. 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 Yeah. Um, it comes. Take it as a, if you're doing a muffin. Yep. If you're doing a muffin, yeah. it's the same process, yeah. right? So, or goat corn or corn cakes. It's also what the Jamaicans would use to make festivals. Fe festival, yeah. right. Yeah. Um, th yes, the, they use this for festival. That's another Jamaican. Uh, this is festival and spinner is the same thing? No. Uh, no. no, it's totally different. Okay. So it means so, that <coughs> this is going to be delicious. Delicious, that's right. Mm -hmm. um, now, I, I got I to gotta interject here. Go right? ahead. Mm -hmm. Anybody who's been to Barbados is telling you, Beresford, you're lying. The national dish, dish for Barbados is, is macaroni pie. Pie, yes. <laughs> um, I had the opportunity to, to, to be there for a couple of years when I was in school, and I would probably see macaroni pie maybe a hundred times every one time I saw flying yeah. fish and cuckoo. Yeah. But um, the purists uh -huh. in the country, the, the, especially the older, the older generation, they let you know it's not macaroni pie. Oh. <laughs> they'll, they'll, they'll fight for their national dish to the end. So okay, all right. Figured so we, we had to feature it. School, yeah. yes. So like we go out and we have cow food soup and thing after our parties, and then this you after club you will get this right mm -hmm. um, on the side. Well, you can, you can, but like I said, I think it's it's more of a celebratory, right. and, okay, you know, festival and, and, and type, get type to dish, get right. No? So there we go. So what is the process for the cuckoo? Tell okay, <clears throat> let me just put this away. Yes. I have some uh, fish, some fresh tuna. Yeah. All right. I know Grace, we have our tuna in the can, but I'm, I want to go fresh tuna. Belizean, get out there, try it. It's very, oh, highest in omega trees. Highest fish you could find. It's a very in omega, fish, in omega trees. Delicious. Right. And they make it now, it's very affordable. Um, so that's because we, we don't have access we to fly fish here. Right. Yeah. And, and our fish is getting scarce and all that stuff. We'll get to that, right? Mm -hmm. That's why I'm a lion fish person. Eat okay. the lion, all right? But today we're going with tuna. Mm -hmm. Okay? So we got the polenta. We got the um, maize, cornmeal. Mm -hmm. All right? It's very simple. It's very, very easy. Don't be afraid of it. You're in the kitchen? Try it. Don't be afraid of it, all right? So I'm going to put a cup in here. 
All right. Aha. Uh -huh. Voila. And so we have the corn. We have the cornmeal. Corn and that's like a butter. But Beef. Take it as flour then. Yeah. Take it like flour. Don't be scared of it. Take it like flour. Mm -hmm. I'm going to add baking powder. So mm -hmm. it's the same process we're using. Say we're making um, um, muffins or something. One pack of baking powder. This is good for a pound of flour. Mm -hmm. Grace, baking, Grace baking, baking powder. Well, uh, and pong the of, are so and look easy. at this. Yep. Look at this. Very, very easy, right? Yeah, because you know when you have a whole container of baking powder, it, it gets hard, hard if you don't. Yeah. Because you don't use it all the time, unless you bake. You be, every unless day. you bake every day, right? All right, one sachet, very nice. I like that. All the mm -hmm. mess, take it, throw it away, done. Mm -hmm. All right. So I want to, I want to mix this around. I want to bring this around to incorporate it. Okay. All right. So everything is well um, issued out. Mm -hmm. All right. We go dry. You always do dry first. <clears throat> All right, so let's add some malher complete. All right, you know, there we go. Complete season. Let's get some garlic in here. Let's get some black pepper in here. Let's spice up this thing for this morning, so right? We're cooking with shopping. a beat. We're yes, cooking with we flavor. To go shopping, though. You know? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just love this kitchen. Yeah. I just love this kitchen. I'm going with three. Okay. Complete. It goes to show that we're cooking, right? I know, right? Complete garlic and of course black pepper. All right. Is <clears throat> I love this complete. It's very rich with um, herbs. Mm -hmm. One of my favorite is colantro. Oh. Smell that. Mm. Oh, yes. That, that wake that up right there. Yes. Just don't let me smell Those, the black pepper. There, no, no. Don't smell the black pepper. <laughs> Keep that one to yourself. <laughs> That's my fun part. Oh, this black pepper, they go old too. <laughs> smell it. <laughs> All right. See, we're going savory. Yeah. We're going savory. And with Grace, little packets. You notice alone packets this morning because it's so easy. These are come, now these ones come in waterproof. Is that what we're doing? Remember, it used to be paper and you, yeah. you put it down and, and you get all messed up and you get what? No, ah. no, this is, you know, little trick. If you That's don't, another one that goes hard if you don't use it. Yes. You know, mm -hmm. The garlic powder. The garlic powder. Yeah. Yes, the moisture. There's a little bit moisture in there and that's what happened. All right. So the sachets make it easier. Make it easier. I see we have our magic paper out. Is that what oh, we're yes, today? Oh, we, yes. We, we're getting to that, okay, right? Good. We're talking about flavors, right? You haven't heard of the magic paper yet? I haven't heard of that. Oh, oh see the magic right yeah. now. Yes. Yeah. And, of course, he my friend. from here. <laughs> some tips. You yeah. will become the best chef ever after that. Yes. <laughs> Put me on a job, right? That's <laughs> why that, me and the paper, we got we to gotta talk. <laughs> all right. So we're going to incorporate this all nice together. You know, how quick that was. Yeah. Don't chop up no garlic, no chop up no onion, no chop up no um, mm -hmm. uh, cilantro, no cilantro. Everything don't need that ready, man. This thing easy. All right? This thing easy. Um, all right? The garlic, excellent. So, I'm going to add, it calls for water. But you know, we got Grace we coconut got milk. Grace coconut milk. We're going to add coconut milk in here. Bring it to a nicer flavor, a Caribbean tropical flavor to it, right? Mm -hmm. We're gonna add that in there. But before that, I have some stickery. Mm. Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> we add you some stickery. Like? He knows that. That's why. Yeah. <laughs> That's one of the main. He's, 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 learned, he's learned my uh, I got her uh, taste, like this, like her taste palette. Ago. Taste palette already. Yes. I guess Marlena won't be. But I won't. Yeah, be yeah she won't taste in this one. one. Yeah. But here's the yeah. thing. I just, I really, I really messed up myself because I was just talking about trying new things. Yeah, there Although you I go. have tried off crumb before. Many yes, times. yes. Um, you I could eat. boil, you could boil it yeah. to take out the slime. Yeah. But um, why take out the slime? The slime. See, that I was going to say that different, different cultures do it differently. differently Some cultures right. will take, take out, out the slime. No, no, no. We love it. That's right. Come shun. In Belize. All right, let me just. So it's going to be okra mixed in with the cornmeal. Cornmeal, okay. right. And then we're getting to um, another one, another favorite thing of mine from Grace, which is the mixed veg, right, Miss Mel? Yeah. I use that a lot. It's not only for a salad, guys. It's not only for potato salad. <laughs> it's so not. True. It's or soups. Or soups. Yeah. There's a bunch of stuff you could do it. You could do with that. All right. So while he's doing that, Mel, of course, a very important day is coming up and you have to tell us what the uh, creative people at Grace are putting together in celebration of Mother's Day. 
Well, of course, we still have our Facebook Mother's Day promotion going on, and it actually concludes on the 9th of May, which is next week, Wednesday. Okay. Um, it's an excellent promotion. Uh, the winner will walk away with one of the big KitchenAid mixers, Ooh. you know, these big heavy duty ones that everybody is so crazy about getting one. Everybody wants one, but there's only paper one. <laughs> yeah, nobody wants to pay the price for one. So we're giving a mom out there the opportunity to win that to win that item. Um, and then So we how does the promotion work? It's simple. All you have to do is go on our Facebook page and in the comment section you enter a recipe, of course using four Grace products. It has to be two from off the flyer and two any other two Grace products that you want to incorporate. Okay. Um, so there's things like um, condensed milk, evap milk on the flyer, um, and then you can always show in ketchup or corned beef or whatever it is that you Not want. Not the condensed milk and ketchup, please. <laughs> don't, don't get yourself sick. <laughs> no, we can, you can be creative. So. I've, I've seen some of the recipes. <laughs> but I was just it's going to be a hard one. one. It's, it's going to be a hard one. Is it original recipes or a it, twist of an original recipe? It doesn't have to be an original recipe. Okay. The main thing that we're looking at it, is that it has to have four, the least, four Grace products in there. Okay. And two has to come from off the flyer, mm -hmm. and two can be any other Grace product that oh. we that we sell. Okay. So it's simple. Just enter your um, comment, put in your recipe, and that's about it. What we'll do in terms of elimination is that we're going to go through the recipes to make uh -huh. sure that they meet those criteria. Okay. Once they do, we throw everybody's name into a into a barrel, and we stir it up, okay, and then we pull out our our winner. So it's so not about likes on Facebook. It's not about or taste likes. Test for the recipe. Test, no, but like Dwayne said, of course we'll invite the winner to come on our show. Uh -huh. You know, to be able to showcase that winner and their mom. And likewise, the recipe, which was their contributing recipe. Not the winning recipe, but their contributing recipe. Not this recipe. No. Not that no. recipe. Okay, okay. <laughs> so come on, Because it's so guys. easy. Because this is, is so easy. That is such a great prize. And I can think, I'm trying to think in my mind uh, some recipes that would incorporate four, and there are quite a few. There is. If you're going baking, you have baking powder. Oh, you have have, yeah. Yeah. oh man. We oh, have man. Um, quite a Sorry? You make soup? Yes, you can you make, can soup. make soup. Yeah. You can use the magic paper along yes. with something else. Stop spilling else. it. Stop spilling it. <laughs> Let it be nice. I think he's, he's getting a bit intimidated <laughs> by the magic, magic paper. paper. Everything you in magic paper. You can't tell the magic paper doesn't qualify. Oh, you, right? I know. <laughs> but yes. Benjamin? Uh, no, it's a, it has to be a Grace, Grace branded okay. product. Right. Okay. It has to be a Grace branded product. So, um, like for example, we have some new products that should be hitting the market soon, which is okay. our, um, where we introducing our barbecue sauce or grace okay. barbecue sauce very very good guys and this is about six dollars and fifty cents in store i'm back yes grace barbecue <laughs> sauce <laughs> people say me do the commercial do the commercial yes. <laughs> how's your family how's your tv family oh they're good <laughs> so guys, please go, go pick up your grace barbecue sauce and i can guarantee you it's the best in the market right now it's very good yeah. i use it a lot it's very rich and then this one marlene oh you boy. really really oh, you have really to go oh for that summer barbecue aren't oh boy. you oh boy yes we are and this is a hot and spicy grace baked beans mm -hmm. this is very very new to the market so this is our new baby right now. So you now. mean you don't have to add your pepper to the baked beans? No, no pepper. All right. No pepper. Look, very spicy, uh, broth, very rich. All right, get out there and get this one. This is a new one. Get out there, try. You could do different things with this. There's a lot you could do with this. So let's let's be clear once again. Once you use four Grace products, not from the Grace line, but Grace, Grace branded, branded products. products. So That's say. Right. Grace uh, vegetables. Mm -hmm. See, like this is smaller. This wouldn't qualify. Wouldn't qualify grace right. barbecue sauce, and right. the, I believe That's the baked right. beans was Grace as well. Perfect. So mm -hmm. those are all options that you have. Well, I'm looking forward to who's gonna walk away with that yes. that KitchenAid. So far, we have about 25 um, recipes, yes. mm -hmm. and like I said, we still have a couple more days, at least five or six, five more days to go, which means that guys get in there. You still have a chance to put get in there. I mean. Yeah. This KitchenAid, I use KitchenAid a lot. It's my go-to friend. First thing in the morning and same thing in the evening. I mean, with that thing, I mean, I feel so good when I use that thing. I'm happy. Yeah. 
I'm very happy because then um. And the funny thing about it is that it's not just a mixer. Mixer, right? You can you can do um. Oh boy. You can knead, you can mm -hmm. make ice cream, mm -hmm. you can mm -hmm. make pastas mm -hmm. from it. It's like really really cool. I have it a nice is the best. Oh, I, you get. To, I was gonna ask you that. Do they get to pick the color? Mm -hmm. um, actually, this one that, that we're highlighting is a turquoise one. So you Ooh. know, everybody. Beautiful. Everybody's moving away from that traditional, traditional kitchen yes, of stainless yes, steel yes, or yes, white. Yes. So. Yes. Pump it up, maybe maybe the winner of this one will be I, able I to change the entire put kitchen. I think I a recipe yeah. now because uh, I, I need a, a KitchenAid too, man. And that <laughs> turquoise sounds beautiful. But this is, you know, I think definitely it's a great tool in the kitchen. Any mother and maybe even the daughter or son who's applying mm -hmm. is the one who really wants to use it. Yeah. But it's a, an easy way to win a great prize. Right. And it's not only the first place winner that will walk away with something. We also have our $150 gift certificate mm -hmm. that we'll be able to give to second prize. And we also have our Vina Maipo wine along with a Grace gift basket that the third place winner will walk away with. So there's something for everyone. All right, so we're going to catch up with Duane over on this side. Yes, yes, yes. So after I, I, I savor it before, do all the stuff in there. So the offer's in already. And yeah, some cilantro I put in there. Two. I'm putting some cilantro. I'm gonna add some veggies to this. Mm -hmm. um, body, give it more body, give it more flavor. Mm -hmm. They usually, they just have okra in it, right? Yeah. At, in Barbados, it's just okra, but I, vegetables, perfect. Then more vegetables. Right, I'm here. going with liquid and everything, guys. All right, I'm gonna do like half, right? There's potato, carrot, oh boy, I don't wanna start because it will be a long <laughs> list. <laughs> See, mixed veggies. And they also have this green peas and carrots. Excellent, mm -hmm. excellent. So we got that. You want to toss it around. You want to coat, coat before because then um, what happened is that everything will just stick. All right, all right. Have you ever ventured to try to make this before? Um, I've had it before. I've tried making all right. it. All right. Okay. Now you know. Now you know. A little you, oil. Okay. It's a little oil, coconut oil. All right. We do like... So you still Belizeanize the thing? Yes, yes. That's how we um, come up with that, right? That's what I love, Grace Belizean Kitchen. Belizean Barbados. Belizean. Mm -hmm. yeah, man, it's, all, it's all about integration. <laughs> <at the laughs> day, right? It's all about integration. What so. a perfect plug there, right? <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> well, you come up with French Guyana, and then all those other... How do you think anything come up? Like, <laughs> integration. Integration. And he has to grace if I, right? Yeah. Right, of course. Yeah, yeah. Well, they All right, have so access we, to grace there too, so. Yep. But let me. Let my me, mind is. Let me shift. You're going to do kitchen. what? Coconut milk? Yes, next? coconut milk. Okay. Go right ahead. Let me go ahead. So, right. while you go ahead with that, Barry's Ford, of course, you could talk to us a bit about uh, the integration uh, within Caricom and definitely uh, why this is a great opportunity to partner with Grace and talk about other Caribbean nations. Uh, well, for us, uh, um, we. We in Belize, I think we sort of struggle at times with our identity as to who we are. Mm -hmm. You know, we're Caribbean, some days we're Central American. So I said, for us at the CSME unit in the directorate, we said, let's try to take some creative ways into, you know, bringing us into this whole, into the fold of being Caribbean. And I think for, for, for us as Caribbean people, two things really stand out. Mm -hmm. Music and food. That's right. Right? Um, it binds, sort of binds us together. Everybody has their own take on, on rice and beans, everybody has, some of them is rice and peas. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Some people have um, bullfoot soup, cow heel soup, we have cow food. We got cow, right. right. Everybody has their own take on it. So we said, let's partner with Grace, who you know is a Jamaican company, mm -hmm. doing great work in Belize, uh, helping to provide flavor to our kitchen. Mm -hmm. Flavor and with a beat. Flavor <laughs> with a beat. You have a dance when you said. <laughs> so we, we figure let, let's partner with them as a, a Jamaican company that's been established in Belize for years, mm -hmm. you know, and let's see how we could send the message of integration and Caribbean-ness. Ah. And, you know, let's package it in a way that is digestible for everybody. And, well, Chef, Chef Duane, he's, he's the expert at that, making mm -hmm. things digestible. <laughs> yes. And so, nice. Nice, great. That's what, that's what we've been. That's what we've been really been doing. You know, we want to take some all of the information outside of just the the, the, the meeting rooms and the funk, because being Caribbean and being Belizean, that, that is, you know, it's it's life. It's not just about meetings. It's not it's not just about the suit and tie world. Yeah. It's every day. And so many Belizeans have had exposure to the Caribbean, especially through school and training opportunities, that it's great to see the recipes here as well. Definitely. Okay. 
here, so I'm just gonna put this in. Bake. Remember we're baking. You could also do it stove top, but that's a that's a longer process. That's a, in a bath, you know. You'll coat a, a pan just like this, uh -huh. and you put your butter and stuff in there, and, and um, you put it in another pot, cold the hot water bath, mm -hmm. right? Like you're making a flan. Okay. And it's come out like custardy, yeah. but so this one the, time that's consuming, the, the right? Marbiers, that's yeah. the right way. Uh huh. Time consuming. I'm just gonna go in. That's why yeah. it's only on special occasions. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's a lot of work. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. So we could bake. Just All right. So you put that into the TV oven. Okay. <laughs> now. Hmm. Here's my here's my ass assistance right here. Okay. Which one are you choosing? Aho and Sebai. Seboya. Seb onion, onion, onion and, and garlic. garlic yeah. mm -hmm. There's how many flavors? Three different. There are three different three different flavors. Yeah, the food if, food. Mm -hmm. You got your frying pan on. The frying pan is on. The frying pan is on. And with this one, you don't need any oil. All you need to do is to just place the, in this case, the fish inside the seasoning paper oh. and put it in the pan. That's and the way we need a cover. Magic. All right, that's going very fast, very fast. Yeah. Do you know what the magical part is for me? It's not the seasoning. It's that it's there's no clean up. The clean up part. <laughs> right, this is how this look. We've seen this already. And my, they stopped me on the street. Where can, yeah, we where, get it? can you get where can we get it? Where can we get it? I have two. And I know tell name. Everybody wants a piece <laughs> of the magic. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Oh. All right. Um, fish, nice, clean. Um, tuna. All right. Not very high. Very. Um, it's not fishy, fishy, fishy. Mm -hmm. Go for lunch. Nobody will believe that tuna you eat. Yeah. You, you must, this fish is so I nice. You could find it more. It's yes. It's hard to get hard in to restaurants. Get. All right. I don't know why. I, I went very thin. Okay. We got fire in there. Okay. Yeah. I want to mash this down a little bit. All right. The oil? What and oil? It's like eight to ten minutes yes. on each side. On each side. side. Okay. okay. I'm going to go right there. Depending in. on the thickness of the meat also. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Well, two, people look at tuna. When it's cooked, there's a little pink in the middle. You want, we eat ceviche, we eat sushi. Guys, it's the same thing. It's mm -hmm. It's saving the real flavor of the fish, not mm. killing it with all the heat. That's why when you look at people look at tuna, like it, it's not it's raw, yes, but it's um it's cooked inside, but with a little pink in the middle. That's perfectly. I'll sh I'll get to it and show you, right? Okay. It's for saving the flavor, right? All right. So we, we threw it that. And is it is it uh, does it cook fast? It like cooks very fish? fast. Like it regular cooks, fish, yeah. Like regular fish. Mm -hmm. Even much faster because of we leave a little pink in the middle okay. and, and that's good all right so we finish before with, people start saying oh, that right <laughs> <laughs> it's like i don't know it's like the steak at, at restaurants we Belizean, uh well done right for me as a chef i think we're ruining it you, you want wanna, you want to tell them no no that's why it stays there because you want the flavor of the meat itself. Just a little bit you want, just like a bite you want. You don't want the whole thing raw. You just want a little bite. And it's dry, bite. And raw. It's dry. Yeah, it's like a um, old slippers. You're the cooker. You're the... Yeah, thank you. All right. Good. You're good to go. <laughs> Melissa, All right. master of the magic yes, paper. The magic paper. That's <laughs> you quick. Know you that... realize that she came taking take... at that yes. point, yes. coming to take over yes. at that point. One. Mm-hmm. Usually it's better if you cover it and, and then, then all that seasoning right. and everything oh, just, just right. stays in. Which is much quicker. But and then the meat is much moist. Moist, right. Yeah, much. This is give it a couple minutes. Yeah. Let me see that. Nice. Look. Oh. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, that's the purpose. That's there the purpose. you Let go. See Do you see the magic now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, good. All right. That's good. Perfect. Charlie would work really well for fish, definitely. You smell that, right? Yeah, man. And, and the flavors are excellent. We're getting up here with um, flavors with a beet. That's right. So we didn't talk about how long the cuckoo bakes for. Um, depends on, depending on the size. Yeah. Uh, that's like uh, about 20, about 20 back, one pound, half, pound and a half, mm -hmm. right? And that's, that's true. That's done. That's done. I'll take, you could just leave it right in there for right now. And let me just take this off just for safety. All right, and just let it sit there, and let's get the cuckoo out. Yes. All right. 
So, so obviously 25 minutes hasn't passed. Uh, right. Uh, so with the magic of a TV <laughs> oven. All right. Ta-da! Ta-da! That's what you got. Look at that. Nice and big. Ooh. And you could feed a lot of people with that. Yeah. You could feed a lot of people with that, all right? And that's just one. Uh, and you're going to need a very small slice because it's all cornmeal, yeah. Right, it's very heavy. It's very heavy, all right? Cut a piece right here, all right? Just jump into it. Let's see what it looks all right. like. Now, how dry do you want this to be? Um, well, if you're adding, you have, they, tr they melt butter mm -hmm. and they throw over it. Okay. To get it moistened. Uh -huh. Depends on how much butter you want. Yeah. All right, to moisten it a little bit because it's a little stiff. Okay. Or if you have, we have a, we could add some barbecue sauce to that. You could uh, mix it and, and work it with some different things. Great All right. Mm -hmm. yes, thank you. New kid. <laughs> All right. With baked beans to the side. With baked, there you go, see? Yeah, and you have a nice meal. Look at it. Mm -hmm. And you have a nice meal. Okra, um, greens. Yeah, I could try this. <laughs> I tell you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okra, greens, and, and veggies. Veggies, mm -hmm. guys. Get the veggies. All right? Well, I'm going to take a piece of fish. We have the barbecue sauce open. Let's try a little barbecue sauce. Oh, yes. You know how to play the barbecue sauce out, right? It's my favorite. It's my favorite. All right. Remove the paper, guys. Remember, remove. <laughs> Don't add the paper. Yeah, it's not magic but, edible. No, it's not magic edible. You can eat the paper. No, 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 no. Ah. Look at the moisture in that, right? Look at the moisture in that. I'm just going to use these two pieces. Mm -hmm. Now you know some people are saying do not put barbecue, barbecue sauce, sauce on, on that fish. fish. That's right. You yes. can do whatever you want when yeah. you're the one eating, right? Yeah. <laughs> Let me just see what I perfection of this fish I have here. Just cut a little piece. See how thin that is? Mm -hmm. uh, that is that is cooked through. Alright? No, look at that. You can pick that up. Mm -hmm. See, you see that smoke coming out? Yeah. A little pink in the middle? Mm -hmm. By the time it reaches your table, it's already cooked. It's not dry. Yeah. It's just moist. All right? So we could put, put that there. All right? Good. I'm just going to, you could add it to the frying pan, the, the barbecue sauce. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm just going to add a little bit on the side. All right? People, there I prefer. Barbados. Barbados. Barbados is national dish. Cuckoo. Cuckoo. Spelled C O U C O U, by the way, not the regular cuckoo that we think of. Right. All right. And I've voila. That, and, and once again, I think uh, one of the things that you spoke about was just being able to learn more about cultures, and yeah. the easiest way to do it is through food. food. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. That's right. I mean, I look at it, and um, it's real nice. It's very nice. And I, then again, it's very simple. With the, a, with the Grace products. It's an easy, it's an easy dish. It's an easy, right. It's a good substitute if you don't want to eat rice today. Hey, there's another mm -hmm. option for mm -hmm. you. And it's very heavy. You can see you can see the denseness in this. All right. Let's get this thing going, man. Let's get this thing going. We have some napkins or some uh, paper. All right, I'm just going to have a bit. <laughs> when the chef loves his own food. Uh -huh. <laughs> So once I did again, all states. <laughs> let's let's uh, recap once again your deadline for your Mother's Day promotion. 9th of May. All right, that's next Wednesday. Wednesday. All right, and uh, you'll be back with more recipes uh, from next, the Caribbean. Yeah, next Friday we'll have the other youth ambassador, okay. Miss Kyla Siego. She'll be joining us next week. Uh, just want to say tomorrow, next two weeks. Next two weeks sorry, next two weeks. Uh, tomorrow we have a poetry night at Spooner's Cafe. Mm -hmm. We'll be inviting young poets to really share, share poetry on my Caribbean identity. So that'll be the, the end of our Caribbean week. What time does week. it start? Uh, it starts at 7. Okay. All right. And free entry? Free entry. Okay. So come on out and enjoy a night of poetry. Don't forget that the Mother's Day special and promotion ends on uh, Wednesday, May 9th. And you have the opportunity to win a brand new KitchenAid mixer. Don't want to miss that. No, Thank you so much, everybody. Uh, of course, that is 
it for us with Grace Flavor with a Beat. We'll be back in a few. Stay tuned. was brought to you by Grace Candidate Belize Limited, bringing good taste to life.